Hey YouTube, welcome back to uh, part two of accenting. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump into this because uh, I'm I'm really trying to hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm trying to like shorten my videos um, a little bit. I'm finding that many of them are long. <laughs> I'm sure you do too. Uh, you know, because I talk a lot, I'm long-winded, I repeat myself a lot. So um, I apologize. It's uh, it's my curse, I guess, but it's something I'm trying to improve upon, okay? So I'm trying to hopefully shorten the videos a bit while uh, not without sacrificing anything. So um, so anyway, so hopefully I'm going to get a little bit better at this. Uh, okay, so what I want to do first is just play the, um, you know, start with that, that exercise from part one, okay? So, but this time, what we're going to do is we're going to take the accents, okay, and move them to a tom, okay? Keep your non-accents on the snare, but move the accents to a tom. You could also move your accents to a, um, to a crash cymbal as well, okay? Maybe even put your bass drum with it if you want, okay? So, uh, so let's try that real quick, okay? I'm just gonna have my right hand hit the floor tom, the right hand accents hit the floor tom, left hand accents hit the rack tom, okay? Let's give that a shot. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's a good starting place. Okay, with this, uh, with the, with the exercise. And again, you can experiment where your hands are moving. Um, you can have your right hand hitting the rack tom. You can bring your left hand, cross it over to hit the floor tom if you want. So move it around. Okay, you know, play it to a metronome. Do it at uh, some different speeds, uh, different tempos, and uh, you know, and just get really good at it. Okay, from there. There's a couple of things you can do, okay? Your goal is you're trying to get to the point where you can just add in accents randomly and add them in wherever you see fit off the top of your head as you play. That's your goal, okay? So after, once you can do this, start trying to, to just improvise the accents, okay? Uh, now you may or may not be able to do that at that point, okay? It's going to depend, okay? If you can't, then what I would recommend is is maybe trying to create other exercises, uh, you know, to work on any areas of the accenting that you might still be weak on. Okay, um, but regardless, I would still begin the process of trying to work on improvising the accents. Okay, and a, a good basic exercise that you can do, okay, is to sit there and play uh, a measure or two measures of non-accents. And then do a measure or two measures of adding in accents randomly. Okay, let me give you an example of that. I'll do I'll do two measures just so you can hear what I'm talking about.
Okay, so hopefully that made sense. All I did was I would do two measures of non-accents, non-accented 16th notes, and then I would do two bars of randomly improvising accents, okay? Still keeping that right-left single stroke, uh, single strokes going, okay? Uh, and then you notice after a while, uh, instead of just keeping all my uh, notes on the snare drum, I would move the accents, or some of the accents, to some of the toms. Some of the accents I would even keep on the snare. So that's how I would start to kind of build into it. Because um, you're, you're using the accents to build or create phrases. Uh, and at that point, once you can start hearing those phrases, then the, the non-accents are just filling those. They're just filling in the space, okay? But what you're trying to do is you're trying to think, boom. Okay, that's what you're thinking, okay, and you're using the accents to create those phrasings while, again, filling in the holes with non accents. Okay, so that's your goal, okay. Feel the phrase, speak the phrase in, in your mind as, as you play, and then, and then play it with, with your sticks. Okay, so the only thing is you just got to be able to feel those phrases and know, okay, well, with this particular accent, is it on the right hand or the left hand? And obviously, the, if you're starting with your right hand, the downbeats and the upbeats will be accented with the right hand. If, you're, if the accent's on an E or an uh, it will be on your left. Okay, so that's just, that's what practicing the grid will do. It will help you get comfortable and acclimated to those different subdivisions in which hand is hitting those various accents, okay? So that's your goal. Your goal is where you can just add them wherever you like uh, into your fills or, um, or even your grooves, okay? If you've seen my different ride patterns video, you'll notice I'm doing um, accented notes in some of those ride patterns, okay? So uh, again, accents are a wonderful tool. Um, you're going to see me use them a lot uh, in videos I've already done as well as upcoming videos. So I just thought it was a good time to do uh, a, a video just explaining, you know, how do you accent, okay? So um, just remember the key is downstroking. You want to make sure that you downstroke because you want those non-accents to be nice and quiet while the accents are obviously accented, right? So you want that nice separation so you can hear that phrasing and just feel more than here necessarily, but feel those ghost strokes underneath, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on accenting. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, okay? So uh, we'll see you guys soon with some more videos. All right, take care.